Hello, this is Elliot uh, Gemalto. Uh, I would like to show you uh, how to create an entitlement. Now, an entitlement means that you already have a product. Over here, if we go to catalog, we can see that we have products. And the product contains the feature and the license model inside. So, going back to entitlement, this means means that I want to creating a new entitlement. This means that I want to uh, to provide with some one customer or maybe uh, unlimited um, customers with the entitlement uh, to get a license for them. So let's uh, let's create one entitlement customer name it's not uh, it's not a must because I can create an entitlement which will be later on uh, transferred to several specific customers but let's take the easiest and uh, plain one uh, that uh, I want to create an entitlement which uh, means that I want for specific customer to get some uh, license at the end of the road if I click on the spacebar, I get a list of uh, customers. I choose one of them, and I get automatically the contact uh, that is one that is a part of this customer name. Then I can uh, provide details about user registration: is it optional or mandatory, etc. Um, the default for this entitlement is that it starts today and never expires, meaning that this entitlement can be uh, forever but of course I can change it another important thing is notification if I want this contact person to get notification that I have created an entitlement for him yes or no the default is yes do I want to allow activations uh, activation is the process where this entitlement can become uh, a generated license uh, in most of the cases I will allow Activation. Revocation. Do I allow uh, the customer or this contact person to return back the license to me even before the license expire, expires? Yes or not? If yes, the default is yes. Now, entitlement is, is providing a license at the end of the road, but the license before becoming a license we are talking about a product so entitlement contains at least one product so I have to add a product here I get a list of uh, products I can uh, filter it by specific uh, namespaces or product name or version etc uh, I would like to take uh, one of the it, it doesn't show up here so I, I can see here that there are several pages so maybe I go to the next page. Yes, this is the one that I want. I have crea already created this product. So I, I, I check it and add to list. Now, this means that I'm going to add this product. However, entitlement means that this product can be used later on, but I can say, I have to say quantity, how many activations or how many, let's say, different licenses I can uh, create out of this entitlement. So I can fa say, for instance, five. So five different licenses could be later on created by this one entitlement. So I edit. And now I'm able to create even, to edit even more things about this product. I can write down about this uh, product several details if I want uh, to change. Um, furthermore, uh, the license model I'm using here is a LEC new trial network node and it says that the end date will be August 2015. I can change it for instance, no I want it to be until 
uh, September, 1 September uh, 2015. And it says seat count is 40, meaning that there might be 40 end users connecting at the same time to, to consume this license. I might say, no, I just want 20 of them. And I can make changes even in the locking criteria. Uh, here, the locking criteria says disk ID and, and processors ID, but I can change it. No, I want just a disk ID to be the. And other changes that I might do in the, uh, in, at the order time or the entitlement time. So I save it. This has been changed. So I have the customer whom uh, this entitlement is going to deliver to be delivered. I have the product inside with the license models and the feature uh, and all the details that I provided for this uh, entitlement and product. And then I save. It is saved. The next thing that I have to do, now this entitlement is not ready yet. It's just in the in a way of okay, I have I have done it. It's a it's in a draft mode, draft status, and if I want to make sure it's available, I have to commit. Are you sure? Yes. So now there is a new created entitlement ID, and if I go to view certificate, I can see also there is a new product key that is uh, the as a matter of fact, this product key says that this product that I've created, that I've used uh, before, uh, can be used. So I can I can now take this product key and send it uh, to my end user, to my customer as a software vendor. Uh, and that's it. Uh, that's it about entitlement. That says that uh, there are five licenses that can be different licenses that can be created out of this entitlement and now let me show you how the end user my customer as a software vendor will will be working he will go not here he will go to customer login he can enter as a customer as my customer using product key that i have provided to him this one that was just created and then login and over here is able to uh, to activate and create license for him. In order to do so, first of all, he will have to use the tool uh, W Echo ID to run it and get the disk ID, which is the criteria asked over here. There is a criteria of a disk ID that is required. So by clicking only the disk ID he is able to provide the fingerprint or the, the string that represent this fingerprint and put it here and generate the license for him. So this is the license generated for him. He can then save it to file and use it later uh, for as a license for his RMS uh, on his server. So this this was uh, about, and of course uh, the remaining quantity becomes four because there was uh, before that well, there were five licenses that can be created out of this, out of this entitlement or out of this product, and now the remaining is four. Of course, he, if he is doing it. Once again, he will get, uh, he will get, sorry, uh, he will get back uh, a reduced number of uh, activation provided. Um, for the end user, he also can get using entitlement ID and if and also um, user ID if uh, if created for him. So to sum up. If we get back uh, to entitlements, uh, we created entitlement and inside there is a number of activations that can be used later on by the end user 
uh, using the customer portal. Thank you for watching.